Hey everyone, my name is Noah, creator of Blackthorn Prod, and welcome to another game creation tutorial with Unity. One of the first things you are greeted with when you start up a game is its main menu. As a result, the main menu seen must be well designed, has to leave a good first impression on the player. The main menu is supposed to be clear and exciting. It's where the player will usually tweak the game's settings, learn more about the developers, possibly get a grasp for the rules and more. So the topic of today's video is how should we go about making a good main menu? Well, first of all, stunning art will make a menu instantly awesome. A great visual style and atmosphere, such as the menu found in XCOM 2, will draw the player in and get him excited to delve deep into the game world. Same thing goes for music. A player that enters a main menu and is submerged by a wonderful soundtrack will feel happy and excited to start playing. So art, music, two elements that can make for an amazing main menu, but both very hard to nail down, especially for novice game creators, artists and musicians. Thankfully, the third element doesn't take a huge amount of knowledge or skill to get right. And the best part is, it's the most important part of the main menu. I'm talking about interactivity and responsiveness. Here I have set up a very basic looking menu, with extremely simplistic art and UI. On top of that, there is no music. This main menu is basically dead, and only the most courageous of humans will dare hit start. A few magic steps later though, I enter the main menu once again, move my mouse cursor around and I'm greeted with a nice interactive and responsive feel. One button changes color tint when I hoover my mouse over it. Another gets slightly bigger, tempting me to click on it. This little image changes appearance and the silhouette characters have their eyes glow red when I bother them with my mouse. Basically, the menu feels alive. The game is working, it's buzzing with energy despite having hardly any visual and auditive information. So as you can see, you don't need loads of amazing art to make a great main menu. All you need are the techniques I'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes. So with all of that said, let's create the menu. So I currently have a brand new Unity scene. I've imported a few sprites made in Photoshop, such as these two words, start and about, as well as these two images I'll use as buttons for my game's options. I'll start by creating a UI image and I'll call it start button. I'll then drag and drop my start button sprite into this empty slot, resizing the image so the word doesn't look too squashed or stretched. I'll then add a button component to this image. This is what we will be using to get our menu feeling alive. As you can see, the button component is packed with information. Just note that we won't be using this section at all during this video. That part is used to call scripts when we click on the button. To learn more about that, check out my 2D or 3D character customization series. So to start off, let's make this button change color when we hoover over it or click on it. This is extremely simple to do, but can add so much life to your game. Firstly, make sure the interactable box is checked, and then set the transition options to color tint. You'll see that we can now tweak our normal, highlighted and pressed color. I'll simply leave normal to a default white, but I want the start word to tint green when I move my mouse cursor over it. So I'll select a nice green for the highlighted color. When the player presses the button, I'll make it turn a darker green to indicate well to the player what he has done. One last thing I must do to get this button working properly 
is change the navigation to none. Now if we press play, you'll note that my button dynamically changes color. Next up, I'll duplicate this start button and change the image sprite with the about words. Let's say I want this button to get a little bigger when I hoover over it. Once again, it's very easy to do so. Just change the transition mode from color tint to animation. Then hit generate animation. It will prompt you to save your animations somewhere in your project. With the button still selected, go over to your animation timeline. You can find it by going to Windows Animation and then select an animation you wish to edit. I'll look for highlighted. I'll hit the red circle to begin animating and simply scale my button up just a little. When I press play, you'll notice that indeed my button scaled up, but it was a little slow and unresponsive feeling. To change this, select your button and double click the animator component to open up the animator controller. Here you'll discover the simple animation system Unity has put into place for us. These arrows represent the links between the different animations. What I want is to speed up the transition between the normal animation state and the highlighted animation. So I'll select that arrow and as you can see there is a setting called transition duration. By decreasing this value, the transition will be quicker, which is exactly what I want. So I'll set it to 0.1. I'll do the same for the transition to the normal state. I'll put in a value of 0.1. Now if we press play, my button scales up and down at a quick, satisfying pace. Awesome! Note that of course you can make much more complex animations than a simple increase in size. There are a bunch of ways to get really creative with this simple tool. The last technique I wanted to show you in this video is swapping sprites. So I'll duplicate my about button and replace the sprite image with this little circular UI. I'll then change the transition mode to sprite swap. As the name implies, this will simply make the UI swap between different sprites depending on what the player is doing. For example, I'll want the sprite to turn into this variation when I have my mouse hoovering over it. So I'll drag and drop that sprite and you'll notice that indeed my sprite smoothly switched. And with that, you've learned the fundamentals of making a great main menu. For those curious about how I achieved the red eyes, it's really simple. I just added a color tint transition and made the image turn red when I hoover my mouse over it. Since the rest of the image is black, the effect was very simple to achieve. Okay, I hope you found the tutorial helpful and will from now on always look for an occasion to bring some life to the main menu with animations and dynamic color changing. I can assure you there is nothing more dead and buggy feeling than buttons that show absolutely no indication they are being moused over or clicked on. The best art in the world won't change that simple fact. With that, thanks so much for watching. Despite the fact that I have loads of exciting new content already planned out, I'm always open to new video and tutorial suggestions. So if you have anything you'll be interested in learning or seeing, post away in the comment section down below and I'll seriously consider your request. Okay, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's so appreciated and motivating. And with that, see you very soon. Cheers!